Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, if this is your first time stopping by the channel, I appreciate if you take the time to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. With that being said, if you do, thank you very much. And uh, what I'm gonna, what the content of today's video is gonna be, several things. I'm go, I talked to one of the Amazon Prime deliverer, uh, deliverers and we get several. It's just not, I've seen one that maybe twice the whole time we lived here. It's like, they just kind of like switch up or something. They come from different areas, um, distribution areas. Uh, so I'm gonna talk to you about what uh, he told me is coming to Oklahoma. Some of you may already know this, and plus some big changes that they have made um, to Amazon uh, for their employees. And it's a very good thing, and I'm gonna be happy to tell you guys about that here in a little bit. Um, you like how I kind of draw you in, <laughs> and then make you watch the whole vlog. You don't gotta watch the whole vlog. If you want if you want to hear me talk about uh, just the Amazon Prime, what, he, what the guy told me, the delivery man told me, uh, probably skip forward a few minutes and I'll get to it. Uh, but right now, what I got planned, this is my daily vlog. If you've never been to this channel, I do daily vlogs as why i'm being quarantined so let's get to the point of that it's quarantine day like nine or ten i think ten but we're going to start this little process over it's quarantine one of 21 because today's the first official day that my county has been told they are on lockdown for 21 days um, so this is one of 21 days so hopefully i could post the whole 21 days to show you what's going on here in oklahoma in northeast oklahoma mays county a little on um, our little piece of land that we're doing daily um, we do not have any intentions of going out other than to work and uh, we should have plenty of supplies to last us a long long time so we're going to be here for 21 days and we're going to bring you guys along with us on that uh, so we're going to keep ourselves busy during this quarantine um, just like you guys probably need to where you're at um, things are getting crazier and crazier by the day um, right when you think it couldn't get worse Something else happens, but um, we gotta make the most uh, the most of this and keep busy. Uh, keep your mind off maybe some of the things that are going on in the world. I'm not saying don't pay attention to it, but maybe take this time that you're watching this video. Maybe I should quit bringing that up because you're trying to watch this video, to take your mind off it, but then I'm talking about it. But I'll quit talking about it. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna make some more raised beds today. I'm gonna plant some carrots and some other things. And I'll show you guys doing that, and then I'll get to the Amazon uh, Prime with the uh, delivery man told me. And uh, if you want, like I said, if you want to see that, skip skip a little bit, and I'll get into it. But right now, let's build some raised beds. I'm just gonna show you uh, kind of putting a couple together, then filling them up and all that, and I'll talk to you throughout. And uh, maybe I can get the girls out here to help me here in a little bit. Thanks for watching. Oh. Okay, so as of now, I've got five raised beds. Um, I'm gonna put, I got enough material on hand to do three more right here. And eventually I'm gonna fence this off because I see some deer tracks just right over there between my old chicken coop and here. So the deers are coming in, the deer are coming in and I'm gonna have to put a stop to that. Gabby does a good job for the most part and Gracie too, wherever she's at. And uh, so we're going to eventually fence this off, but I'm gonna put three more raised beds right here today and eventually get a couple more. But right now I just have enough material on hand to do three so i'll show you guys the process of doing that and i picked this side because it doesn't hold any water over there on that side would be i, I would like to go that way with it instead of towards the house um, but it holds a lot of water and i don't have a tractor to move a lot of dirt over here yet um, so we're going to build this way and then maybe eventually we'll build out that way as you can see all right let's get busy Do a job for me? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna hook up this little trailer to your go-kart maybe if we can. And then you're gonna go over there and fill it up with all that old hay. Okay. I'll take you over there, okay? Okay. Yeah, I have to do this and 
drive slow with it, okay? Okay. This is grizzly. Turn it on. You see that pile of hay? Yeah. On this side? Yeah. Fill this thing up. There's a pitchfork. Use your hand wherever you want. Okay. You can take the camera and record yourself doing that. Okay. Alright, let's see if this works. Let's go. Okay. Okay guys, so I'm gonna fill up the trailer with the hay. Do three beds. We get as much as we can in these, okay? You're trying to build them? We're using that to fill it and we'll put dirt over it. in there and then go check the trap and we'll beat these other ones. Okay. Girls go help her put stuff in there. Okay. Good job. It's fine. Okay, so we got I got all three beds put together. Um, now we just put a filler of old hay we got. That's what we're gonna do with the other two. But right now I'm just gonna I'll spare you doing all of them. I'll show you just doing this one. Um, Hayden and the girls did an awesome job. I hooked that little uh, dump truck dump truck dump trailer up to the little goat cart and it's working good. So they're getting some stuff done. It actually helps me out a bunch uh, whenever they do stuff like this for me. If they can all team up and do that, I mean, I love it. Uh, so me and Hayden are going to fill this in with some peat moss, some black cow, and then some of that vegetable uh, soil. And then we're going to plant, um, I got some uh, 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 cabbages we're going to plant in this bed. And I also got some uh, carrots I need to plant and a few other things. So I'll show you doing this, planting the cabbage, and we'll talk about um, what the Amazon Prime uh, guy told me, the driver told me. Um, pretty good, so stay tuned. We'll spread this out.
Okay, I got a, a five gallon bucket of mushroom dirt my father-in-law gave me. Uh, we're gonna do the, the Gaia method that Bone B Junction does. And we probably don't really need to with this because that's the whole mixture he uses pretty much. But I wanna put some, I wanna, I wanna put the mushroom dirt to good use. Uh, so me and Hank are gonna plant uh, the cabbages right now. All but one, or leave one in there. Okay. Well, one of them didn't have a plant center. Okay. So you know what, uh, like when you're rolling dice, the five looks like on the dice? One, two, three, four, and then a dot in the middle? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh. So we'll put one like right here, one right there, one in the middle, one right there, one right there. Oh. Yeah. So make your little hole and come get some of this mushroom dirt. The yeah, I could get them ones. Out a little further away from the wood. Oh, okay. Just a little bit. Right here. I might got mine a little close over there. Yeah, that's good. That's perfect. Okay, we got them planted. Um, I'll have to add some more dirt and stuff to this as we go because the rain's gonna push it down and all the grass is gonna going to uh, turn into dirt eventually. Um, but yeah, you can see, looks pretty dang good. That's probably how a raised bed is supposed to look. Um, I got the wood chips over here on these ones to keep the weeds down. Um, we'll see how many weeds grow in this, probably come up from underneath, um, but we'll just go with it. If I need to put some wood chips on this, eventually I will too. And uh, we're gonna work on these off camera because you guys got the idea how we did it. Pretty simple do. Inexpensive, they're like $30 a bed to build each one. So that's not too bad at all. And this is a treated, uh, treated two by tens, just like over here. Uh, we get a lot of people say, oh, you don't use tr uh, treated treated wood because it leaches. That was back in the day. That This stuff is is way better, supposedly, than, than it used to be. So we're good on that. And uh, so yeah, we just made three more. So we're good to go. We get, we're gonna have a lot more food this year growing than we did last year, just because we pretty much did almost what 75 percent more or something like that we're gonna end up doing two more once uh, we get material but we can't get out we're not gonna be able to go to the store for like 21 days so with that being said this is what we're gonna deal with so all right let's get into uh, talking about what the amazon prime driver told me go over here in the shade okay it's hot out here you can see i'm sweat getting the sweat off but uh what the Amazon driver told me this this is probably this will be our be our last delivery for a while now. This uh, this happened several days ago. I just haven't had time to put a video out on it. Um, so we I don't even remember what we got. Probably wasn't nothing that we really needed. So we probably need to quit ordering stuff anyways. But uh, with that being said, um, I talked to the talked to the guy. that's actually a different Amazon guy. Like I probably said earlier, than has been in the past. This one this guy actually came from Tulsa. I've had some come from Vanita, some come from Owasso. Well, what he I was talking to him and uh, what he told me was that I asked him about, um, I heard they're getting put on double time um, for all their hours worked. He said, oh yeah, absolutely. He goes, yes, he goes, it's awesome. He's like super excited about getting to work because there's so many people out of job right now. Um, so he was talking about, they put them on double time and they got a $2 incentive uh, pay, uh, a raise on top of that. So I don't, I don't know how much they make. Say they're making $15 an hour. They got $2 incentive pay on top of it for every hour. That's $17 an hour plus double time. So that's 30, I guess $34 an hour is what they're getting paid um, to do their job. I mean, I appreciate if you're, if you work for the postal service, uh, UPS, Amazon, anyone like that, thank you so much. You guys are keeping this country uh, rolling. You're, you're, uh, you're one of the wheels that's, that's uh, continuing to, to uh, uh, roll and we need that. So thank you so much if you're watching this video and you are one of those uh, essential people. Um, I greatly appreciate it. My family does. I know everyone else around us too. Um, so yeah, so they're getting double time plus 
$2 now raise. And he also said that they are going, they're going to be opening up a huge uh, distribution, distribution center in Owasso, Oklahoma um, here in the next few months. So that's going to help him out a bunch, he said. Um, he actually said he had... Um, one day he didn't have any deliveries in my area and then the ne kind of like the same thing with the UPS guy um, And then the next day he had 128 deliveries in this area not just like right here But in in the whole area he does 128 deliveries in one day. That's crazy. Um, but he he had a great attitude um, he, They were in gloves. Um, they're taking precautions that they need to take precautions for and I'm just I'm thankful for them. I'm thankful for them the you know the police department the nurses RTs uh, just doctors in general all them people that are helping this country uh, Get back on track. And I know we're just in the early stages of this and it's content it's gonna it's gonna get better I know it is and uh, just a big shout out to all you uh, all you essential workers out there. I guess I'm not too essential because I'm at home <laughs> I get that. I thought I was essential, but I'm not yeah, so on top of that, he said their deliveries are on track. They're uh, they're not expecting a whole lot of delays. He said now if you do go uh, uh, if you do go to um, on Amazon.com, you know go to order, there will be like delays just because they're getting a hard time getting the uh, getting the shipment from wherever it's at. But once it gets to their uh, shipping, uh, the receiving gets it and the ship goes to the shipping department. He said he goes. We're out. We're going out, and we're distributing the stuff. He goes. We're not. Mi we're not missing a, a beat on this thing because he said they're just busting butt and going, going, going. And he said for the most part, everyone's got a really good attitude about that. Like I said, they're just thankful that they get to keep working while a lot of people aren't getting to. Um, so that's that's good for them. I'm happy for them. So you guys, hope you guys like today's video. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the Amazon guy said. He said that you know. Uh, packages will be delivered so that's good that's a good thing uh, me myself i think we're done uh, packages for a long time and like i said this is day one of 21 um that the state has mandated us stay at home so i'm going to try to put a video out every day that i'm home to show you guys what we're doing out here maybe it'll take your mind off of what you got going on and some maybe things that you're dealing with that you can come watch us sweat and get dirty out here in the garden and do other things around the farm so if you guys like this video today please smash that like button and if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe i think you guys like what we're doing so that's all i got catch you on next video thanks for watching